it's hot. It's, it's like devastating. The milk is about to spoil because the refrigerator is, we, we try to keep it closed, but um, we're about to lose what we have if they can't get the power back on. They did send a message saying that they know that over 800 or 1,000 people in my area are without power and they'll get to us when they can. And that was the last thing I heard. And then I lost power on my phone and have no way to recharge it. Um, the resources are running out. I'm about, about to lose the resources that I have and I'm about to lose all the energy that I have trying to survive. I've been here since 2000 something. So I went through Rita and Ike. Imelda, Harvey, and then this year, uh, my complex has lost power twice without hurricanes, so sort of used to it. It's really frustrating. It seems incredibly common that the infrastructure can't handle a basic storm. Leaving for a Category 1 is sort of crazy to me that I'm having to do this. It is over 100 degrees. It's going to hit 106, 108 with the heat index. And so when you're in this hot, humid condition, and whether it's our seniors, whether it's individuals with health vulnerabilities that may need to plug in oxygen tanks, not having power is just, the, the heat is oppressive here.